video shows the arrest of a woman accused of speed body camera video shows the arrest of a woman accused of speeding in a school zone the Pearland police department released this video that shows the officers using a taser as the woman was taken into custody the suspect has been identified as just just say it lewis and we have learned she is related to a man accused of killing a houston police officer on monday our courtney zabowski is live in Pearland with the new details Lauren and Chris, the Pearland Police Department says it wants to be transparent. That's why it's releasing this body cam video. This incident happened yesterday across the street from Merrick Elementary School. You are looking at body cam video of a Pearland police officer clocking a woman allegedly speeding in a school zone. Tried to pull her over. She didn't stop until about a minute later. I'm trying to go. Leave me alone. You killed my brother. I didn't tell anybody. Her name is Janisha Lewis. She's 19 and has her three-year-old son in the back. KPRC2 talked with her cousin this morning, who said she is the sister of Dion Ledette. Ledette is accused of shooting two police officers Monday, killing one of them. Ledette was also killed in the shootout. Okay, shoot me. Kill me. Send me where my brother's at. The officers order Lewis out of the car. Why are you stopping? For speeding in a school zone. The traffic stop escalates. One of the two officers on scene goes to the passenger side window to try and open the door. Eventually, and after tasing her, the officers get the woman out of the car. Eugene Howard with the NAACP reviewed the video with the Pearland Police Department. I stand behind, firmly, 100% behind uh, what Pearland Police Department did. Howard, who sits on the department's advisory council, says he counted 67 times in which officers tried to de-escalate the situation. Man, get out the car. Man, put the car in park. Man, stop so we can talk about it. Janisa Lewis told police that she's pregnant. A relative came to pick up her three-year-old son. Right now, she's in jail facing evading arrest and resisting arrest charges. Meanwhile, the two officers involved in this situation are not on administrative leave, but the incident is under review. We're live in Pearland. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News. Body camera video shows the arrest of a woman accused of speed. Call law, Yahweh, Mahashim, Yahusha, Mahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from around learn this truth and continue to learn and study on a daily. This is the brother Karatazad coming to you with another lesson. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And the title of today's lesson is Be Subject to Higher Powers. Alright? So, as you can see, this young woman was not cooperating with the authorities, and this is what happened. So we're gonna go into the book of Romans. And if you've been watching my lessons, you know that I've you know I just did a lesson on the book of Romans, chapter 13. Verses one, I think th I think I went to about five, and it reads, "Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but Yahweh by Shem Shah. The powers that are ordained of Yahweh by Shem Shah. Whosoever therefore resisted the powers, the power Salakia resisted the ordinance of Yahweh by Shem Shah, and they that resisted." shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be, be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of Yahweh Shem Yahushai to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. All right. So that's just letting you know right there that you know 
This woman right here, she looks like a so-called Israelite, a so-called Jake, all right? All she had to do was just cooperate with the police, but she was, you know, she was behaving erratic. She was she was acting in a wicked manner, all right? She started going off, and she could be tormented by demons, by spirits, so all she had to do was cooperate with, with the police, and they most likely would have let her go. So, and she didn't, so they tased her. They tased her, they broke her windshield, they pulled out the car, slapped her in cuffs, and took her down to the station, all right? And even the NAACP, you know, those people, they even said, they counted 60-something some odd times, man, please get out the car. They tried to de-escalate the situation, and she did not listen. So that's just letting you know. These people are here as a chastisement. They're here to chastise you jakes out there, you wicked two-thirds, you people in the world. That's what they're there for. They're there for you. They're there to chastise us, keep us in line. That's the most highest chastising rod, all right, for Israel. So with that said, I give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and I hope that you brothers and sisters that watch my lessons have been edified. Shalom.